School of Skills, Vaardigheidsschool, Preparing them for their future. We are all different. We have different personalities, different skills, different talents, different dreams. Unfortunately, the current school system does not cater for all those differences. There are children that love to work with their hands, to design, to develop, to create. Those children do not fit into the mold that is currently created by our school system. There are plans of incorporating new subjects into the mainstream system, but these plans will take time. Until then, these learners can apply at a School of Skills. What is a School of Skills? At a School of Skills, pupils are taught a skill that will enable them to enter the labour market. Pupils receive academic as well as technical training at a School of Skills. The technical training is given in different subject areas depending on the learner's ability and interest. This training helps the learner to either continue with his or her technical training or enter the world of work after school. Who can apply at a School of Skills? Learners who turn 14 or are already 14 in the year of application. Why? A school of skills is a high school. If you do not apply within this year, you will not receive another opportunity to apply. They experience moderate, please note the word moderate, cognitive barriers to learning, which causes slow to very slow scholastic progress. Learners that are not severely or profoundly intellectually disabled, as this is not a school for disabled learners. Learners who experience serious behavioral learning barriers will not be accepted. Learners who have ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder, or ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, will be considered. Learners must be able to read, even if they are not very proficient readers. Learners who do not attend school regularly will not be considered. And usually, the learners who function approximately two years below his or her age group can apply. At the School of Skills, they follow a holistic approach. Children are taught academically. They are taught a technical skill. And then sport plays a big role within a School of Skills as well. The subjects taught at a School of Skills. Learners will be taught home language first additional language, as well as mathematics. Other core subjects are life skills, which includes EMS and SS, economics and social sciences, natural sciences and technology, which are not taught in year one, creative arts and physical education, sport, as I've mentioned in the previous slide. The first year, the learners will be able to experience most of the technical subjects as they might not know what they really like or what they're really good at. This allows them to then make a decision for the second year. Here you will see a list of 19 electives. All these electives are not available at all the different school of skills but most of them are ancillary healthcare, arts and crafts, hairdressing, automotive body repair, bricklaying and plastering, basic welding and metalwork, 
mixed farming, hospitality studies, early childhood development, office administration, automotive repair and maintenance, automotive spray painting, beauty and nail technology, maintenance, housekeeping, needlework and clothing, basic sheet metalwork, upholstery and woodworking. In the bottom left hand corner, you will see the computer lab. As computers form an integral part of life nowadays, learners are also taught computer skills. Many parents ask me whether their children will receive a matric certificate. Unfortunately, the answer is no. The child will, however, receive a Certificate of Attainment endorsed by the Western Cape Education Department. This certificate will enable them to access further or higher education or to be part of the world of work. Industries accept this certificate as this indicates that the child not only has academic knowledge but also technical experience. The learners will be able to continue their studies if they wish to do so at selected tertiary institutions such as Northlink College. As already mentioned, learners will be trained in academic subjects as well. Therefore, learners are required to read on at least a grade 4 level. Children that are strong in mathematics will have an advantage in certain subjects. There are different schools of skills in our area at which our children can apply. The first school we will be looking at is Westcliff. Westcliff is a very well-known school of skill and many children want to apply at Westcliff. That is good. We need to, however, know that because Westcliff is so well known that they receive thousands of applications and it is really difficult to get into Westcliff as they look at a child's school attendance, discipline and also the extracurricular activities. Westcliff is situated in Belleville close to Sunlamhof, the Belleville Traffic Department and the Belleville Department of Home Affairs. A question I am asked often is how much will it cost? This information was obtained at the end of 2021. It will, however, give you a rough indication. At that time, Westcliff school fees were 5,800 Rand a year. Application for financial assistance is, however, possible. A parent can also apply for an exemption of school fees. No school, according to law, is allowed to refuse any child admission based on the parent's ability to pay school fees. The school uniform. Both the boys and the girls wear a white shirt and grey pants. This can be bought at Ackermann's or Pep. They also wear a blue jersey, which can also be bought at Ackermann's or Pep. Then the school has their own rain jacket and tracksuit jacket, which parents can buy. And this is sold at the school. Overalls? would cost you 140 Rand. The next school we'll be looking at is Florida School of Skills. Florida School of Skills is situated in Reiterwach, next to Elsie's River. It is close to the Grand West City Lodge Hotel. How much will it cost you to send your child to Florida School of Skills? 
Please note that this information was obtained at the end of 2021. At that time, Florida's school fees were 2,000 Rand per year, of which 1,000 registration fees are payable at the beginning of a year. Arrangements can, however, be made to pay off the registration fee. Application can be made for adjustment of fees or for exemption of school fees. The school uniform. Both boys and girls wear a white shirt and grey pants and a black jersey, all which can be bought at Ackermans or Pep. The school has its own tie. At the time of this recording, the tie cost 65 Rand. Next, we will be looking at Bishop's School of Skills. Bishop's School of Skills is situated in Bishop Lavers, in between Matruisfontein, Moderdam and Elsie's River. What are the fees involved if I would like to send my child to Bishop's School of Skills? Please once again note that this information was obtained in the end of 2021. At that time, the school fees were 450 Rand per year, of which a registration fee of 300 was required. It is, however, possible to apply for financial relief or the exemption of school fees. The school uniform. Both boys and girls wear a white shirt and grey pants, which can be bought at Ackermans or Pep. The girls may also wear a maroon skirt and they wear a maroon jersey, which is also available at Pep or Ackermans. Overalls are being provided by the school. If, however, the overalls are damaged or goes missing, the child loses his or her overalls, it is the parent's responsibility to replace it at own cost. The next school we will be looking at is the Grendel School of Skills. The Grendel School of Skills is situated in Mulnerton. They are a few blocks away from Century City. How much will it cost you to send your child to the Grendel School of Skills? Once again, please note, the information was obtained at the end of 2021. At that time, the school fees were 5,000 Rand a year, which means a payment of 500 Rand a month. It is, however, possible to apply for financial relief or even an exemption of school fees. The school uniform. The boys and the girls wear a white shirt and grey pants, which is available at Ackermans or Pep. The girls may also wear a grey skirt. They wear a black jersey with a school badge on it, which is sold at the school. And overalls can be bought at the school for 190 Rand. The last school we will be looking at is Mitchell's Plain School of Skills. Mitchell's Plain School of Skills is situated in Mitchell's Plain. It is close to the Baden Powell Drive and the Westgate Mall. How much will it cost you to apply at Mitchell's Plain School of Skills for your child? At the time of this recording, the school fees were 1,500 Rand per year. Arrangements can however be made with the finance department for a reduction or even exemption of school fees. At the time of this recording, they were busy developing a new school uniform. If however, you decide to apply at a school of skills for your child, you will receive an updated letter with the newest information. 
Many times I'm asked whether the child will be able to live in a hostel on the premises. Even though many of his schools have hostels, there is a long waiting list and children who live far away are accommodated first. Then I'm asked how the child will get to the School of Skills. People who live in the same area usually arrange transport together. Some schools have a list of private transport that picks up learners and drops them off at home. Transport costs is approximately 600 Rand a month. Please do not allow this amount to prevent you from applying at a school of skills as you have more than a year to save up money or even to make arrangements for transport. If your child attends a school of skills, he or she will be following a career oriented curriculum that aims at success through training. How does the application process work? First of all, your child will be tested by the learning support teachers situated at your child's current primary school. Then the application is sent to the education department. After they have gone through every single application, these applications are sent to the School of Skill for sifting process. They look at discipline, scholastic test scores, report cards, geographical area that you live in, etc. Many children are not accepted, and therefore it is important to ensure a second and even a third choice when you apply at a school of skills. After the sifting of applicants, some will be placed at the school, some will be placed on the waiting list, but many will be unsuccessful. If your child is in grade seven, it is important to apply at a few high schools in your area as well, in case your child's application is unsuccessful. Yearly, we apply for approximately 20 learners at all four of the schools we've discussed in this PowerPoint presentation. Only two to three learners are accepted at these schools and four to five learners are placed on the waiting list. That means that approximately three quarters of the learners who apply are unsuccessful. If your child attends a school of skills, they learn to make products that are needed and required by the general public. If he or she does not find a job at an industry or decides not to continue studying, it is possible to start his or her own business selling the products they've learned to make. If your child wishes to continue studying after they've attended the School of Skills, they can attend certain tertiary institutions, such as, for instance, Northling College. At Northling College, they can continue to develop their skills. There are, however, too many courses to mention, and I only included a few in this PowerPoint presentation to show you what is available. Don't miss out on this opportunity. We can always make plans, make adjustments, change our mind. But if we do not apply in the year that our child is 14 or turns 14, unfortunately, you will not receive another opportunity to do so. Take a chance. Prepare for the future. Apply at a school of skills. Thank you for watching this presentation.